Welcome to today's episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my mother's chili beans. Now I know there's a debate that it's not supposed to have beans, it's supposed to come with beans. I think that really determines where you're from. And I live in California, so we have many influences coming from Mexico and some of the other states around us. So we have access to so many different spices and fresh produce. And this chili beans is a perfect example of those influences. Now some of the spices that I'm going to be using today, they might not be available throughout the whole country. Uh, so if you are in an area where these spices are not available, I will leave some links down in the video description. So that way you can take a look at them. They're very inexpensive. They're like a dollar to two dollars each pack. A little goes a long way and they're very useful and very delicious. So this recipe is a childhood favorite of mine. There's nothing better than a big bowl of chili beans with some cornbread. So no further ado, let's get down to the recipe so I can show you how to make it. So we're going to start off by taking one pound of pinto beans and we're going to go ahead and clean them. I did not soak these, I just cleaned them off and, and you know ran them in some cold water. And we're going to go ahead and fill up the pot. You want at least about an inch or two right above the beans of water. Okay, so go ahead and put your lid on your Instant Pot. This is the only portion that we're going to be pressurizing our, our cook. And we're going to make sure that our seal is closed. So you want to go ahead and select bean and chili option. And you want to set the timer for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes is done, go ahead and turn off your Instant Pot. And you're going to let your pressure naturally release for about 10 minutes. And then as you can see here, I, I released it. And it's just you know letting out all the steam and letting the pressure out. Okay, so now you want to just go ahead and take off the lid. And you want to set your Instant Pot to saute. Okay, now that you have your Instant Pot saute mode, uh, go ahead and crumble up two pounds of ground beef. As soon as it gets into that water, it's gonna begin cooking it right away because it is very, very hot. So just go ahead and crumble it up and then give it a mix. So now we're gonna add two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. You can use a whole garlic if you'd like. We're gonna be do about a tablespoon of ground oregano and a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, this chili powder is what makes this recipe unique. Not everywhere they have this, this chili powder. This is California chili powder, which is the Anaheim pepper. It's dehydrated and sometimes smoked. Depending on what brand you get, you know, it's made differently. But uh, this is really common where I live. And this one adds a really good pepper flavor. So we're going to be adding three tablespoons of California chili powder. Not only is that chili powder going to give it good flavor, it's also going to help make it thick. And, and this is a thick chili bean, you know, it's not runny at all. It actually has a, a nice consistency to it. Now we're going to be taking one chili pod of New Mexico chilies. These are, I guess you consider them the hatch peppers. Uh, these are actually spicy, so this is where the kick's going to come in. I'm only going to be using one because I'm, this is, you know, a kid friendly recipe because, you know, I don't want my kids complaining that it's spicy. But if you do love a spicy chili beans, go ahead and add two or three of these in there. Like I said, they are spicy. So just be careful and be moderate of how many you add. Now, keep in mind, it is in saute mode. So occasionally, you know, scrape the bottom and move things around. You don't want nothing to burn or get caught up on the bottom because the beans are thick. So just keep that in mind. So just give it a stir occasionally. Now you want to go ahead and add half of a large onion, uh, one green bell pepper and one red bell pepper. Now we're going to add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Now that you have all of your ingredients pretty much in there, this is where you're going to add your salt. So season to taste, make sure that it's tasting just right for you. Now you want to go ahead and turn off your Instant Pot. You don't want it on at all, uh, not even in the saute mode. So just go ahead and cover it with the lid. We're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. That way you could cook everything up and just bring everything together. So here's another unique ingredient. This is maseca. You can use this for making corn tortillas and many other things. Uh, this is going to allow it to get a nice corn flavor and it's going to thicken it up. So go ahead and put two heaping tablespoons of the corn flour. You can actually find this corn flour in any Mexican aisle at maybe Walmart or 
you know, at your local Mexican store. You just want to go ahead and put the corn flour in there and then you want to make sure that you give it a nice stir because you don't want it to clump up and trust me, you have to do a lot of stirring so that way it doesn't. But uh, once you get that in there, this recipe is pretty much done and these chili beans come out fantastic. Just make sure that you season the taste with the salt and this will be a wonderful chili beans. And another note too, depending on how spicy you like your chili beans will determine how many of those chili pods you put in there. This has a thick consistency and trust me, it has a lot of flavor in there. This is a very great recipe and it brings back so many childhood memories and it's my mother's recipe so I hope you enjoy it. I guarantee you, you will blow your family's mind away with this recipe. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comments section. And while you're at it, I have these three other recipes, including the cornbread that I actually made for this recipe. Cornbread and this chili beans go fantastic together. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.